Band 14 rules are in times of non-emergency, potentially some of that traffic can carry commercial traffic, correct? Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> potentially. Potentially. But it's not a guarantee that it's going to be, you know, the normal customer is going to be able to lock on, right? Oh, it'll, However, it'll, be, it'll be you. But band 14 <laughs> customers. Come on now. It'll band, be you. <laughs> four, band 14 customers, a.k.a. FirstNet customers, FirstNet Sim. Chacha, you know this. You know this because you so, have a first so Sim. So, Moose, are they going to structure the rules for this band the same way they did band I can 14? guarantee you AT&T is not stupid. They're going to do the exact same rules per the FirstNet authority, per the FirstNet authority, that FirstNet subscriber lines, right? So a black SIM back in the day or now the yep. FirstNet eSIM. Gotcha, yep. you know this. You have yep. one, yes, right? Sir. You are going to be primarily connecting to band 14 and N79. On a NSA 5G On NSA 5G core. And That's soon right. yep. 5G SA core. Soon 5G SA core. Okay. Yeah. On that's, band 14. That's probably what that. two, three years away at least. Maybe, Ghost to say. Randall, baby. Ghost to Randall. Ghost to Randall. <laughs> Coming so, back. <laughs> so, but but here's the thing. You are right, Tracha, that you will probably have the fastest speed out of any carrier because you'll be able to connect to a more than likely clean N uh, N14. This is the future we're talking. N14 confirmed. N79 confirmed plus N77 plus N77. That's four carriers. When we're not done, stay with me now. Okay. Stay with me now. N2 or N66 or N5. N30. You'll be able to aggregate. Don't forget the N30. Yeah, but N30, there's been so much. Uh, it's getting noisy and, uh, over there, it's bro. It's noisy. It's very noisy. Oh, I, know, I know. I know how noisy it is. <laughs> right. But anyway. So, they basically got to buy XM radio, then they just yes. get it all. Pretty, <laughs> exactly. pretty much. So we're talking about potentially six carrier aggregation, five carrier aggregation minimum for a first net subscriber in times of non-emergency. It will be the fastest carrier in the United States, first net. Bro, you know what this is? It, it's, it's, like, it's like there's about to be a race. And AT and T is about to get a jetpack. You know, it's supposed to be a, a running race. A know? Randall jetpack. Yeah, it's about to be a jetpack. A Randall jetpack. <laughs> and, are, we and have, are we gonna have any more fucking auctions in this country? Yo? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we just want to give everything the fuck away. Are we okay, gonna have but, any more auctions? <laughs> so, so here we are. So here we are yeah, trying to figure out. Here we are trying to figure out what's gonna happen with the three dot one, the lower three gigahertz. That can't be the shared spectrum, that CBRS stuff. We're not doing that game, man. That, that's got to be full-powered, and that's got to be auctioned in a traditional sense. Are that's we sure? Kind of, are we sure, yo? It are has to going? be. It has I'll, to be. There's, there's no other way. I, oh, can't, I can't tell, because every time I turn around, stuff getting given away in, out here, man. Like, yo, are we going to auction stuff off, or um, I, I, is I everything going to be a gift? I got some insight with the 3.1. So the DoD is actually giving that band up, and they're actually switching to a different band. Um, There's so, so much spectrum there that they could use. Why the hell are they holding up three gigahertz, man? Right. They, yeah. They, they're just. It's just. They're, the issue is they're taking their time to move off of that spectrum because they have to switch out all their gear. Zero cool. Are we talking gear. full power, bro? Can we can we yes. see something like N77? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It, it will be. And like I said, the. Um, the reason why um, the DOD is actually giving it up is because they actually need uh, more capacity, so a higher frequency based on what they're doing. More bandwidth? Yes, more bandwidth, and that's due to, AKA, let me give you an example, the, the soldiers in the field, right? They need to be able to, um, uh, the, the 3.1 was good for communications, right? But they need to actually monitor them in real time with built-in AI, um, right? So, again, that's why they're moving to more uh, millimeter wave-esque uh, connections and satellite as well.